Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up the WP81 pH Wide Range Conductivity TDS and Temperature Meter. To start, install the electrodes. Then press the on off button to power on the meter. The LCD shows the conductivity, TDS, salinity, pH or ORP and temperature simultaneously. The menu structure of the WP81 is easy to follow. Essentially, F1 to F4 are your selector keys. Press menu to enter and exit the menus and press up and down arrows to adjust values. Press the menu key to enter the main menu. There are four submenus available on the main menu screen. We'll run through each of these, beginning with calibration. Press F1 to enter into the calibration submenu. Select the function key corresponding with the calibration type you would like to perform on the screen. For a detailed pH and conductivity calibration walkthrough, see the video linked in the description. Pressing menu twice will return you to the main menu screen. The next option here is F2 Notepad. The notepad is where you can view and manage your recorded readings. To demonstrate, we will save some readings to the notepad. So press menu to return to the main measurement screen. At any time in this normal display mode, press F1. The screen will display F1, the measurement number, in this example it's 3, and the measurement. To save this to the notepad, press F1 again. The screen will display data recorded as it is saved to the notepad. You can repeat these steps as often as required. You can save 2400 conductivity, TDS, salinity, pH, temperature, date and time measurements into the notepad. To recall saved measurements, return to the notepad menu by pressing menu, then F2. The notepad submenu has four options. We'll start with F1 recall. Pressing F1 displays the data record number and the parameter information. Pressing F2 shows the date and time of the data for the same reading. To move on to the next reading, press the up and down selector keys. Returning to the notepad submenu, the next option is to erase data. Press the corresponding function key to confirm data deletion. F3 Print. Enter this menu to print or send your data to a PC via the RS-232 port. The last option is F4 Program. This is where you can set up the meter to log data into the notepad automatically. To do this, use the up and down arrows to set the logging period. When the interval is set, set either F1 for the interval to be in minutes, F2 for seconds or F3 for hours. For this example, we'll set it to save a reading automatically every 5 minutes. Lastly, the menu will ask if you want the records to be logged in the notepad or be sent directly to the RS-232 port. Choose your selection using the function keys. The automatic logging function is now programmed but not started. To start automatic logging, press the F3 key at any time in the normal display mode. The meter will display the log number and beep each time a reading is recorded. The meter will continue logging. At any time you can stop automatic logging by pressing F3 again. The next option on the main menu is F3 mode. This submenu allows you to select your operating parameters. Pressing F1 takes us to the conductivity, TDS, salinity submenu. Pressing F1 again when in this menu selects conductivity measurement mode. Pressing F2 in this conductivity submenu selects TDS measurement mode. If using the TDS measurement mode, you will need to enter a TDS factor. To adjust this, use the up and down selector keys to choose the TDS factor. Then press F1 to save and return to measurement mode. Back in the conductivity submenu, the third option is salinity. Press F3 to enter the salinity mode submenu, then press F1 to display your results in percentage units or press F2 to select practical salinity units. Back on the main mode submenu, pressing F3 takes you to the pH measurement mode and F4 takes you to millivolts. The last option on the main menu is F4 Setup. Entering into the Setup menu displays a submenu with four additional options. 
F1 is the battery saver function setup. With this function on, the meter will automatically switch off five minutes after the last button press. If required, you can press F1 under the BAT submenu to disable this function and allow for continuous use. Pressing on switches the battery saver function on. Next in the setup submenu is F2 clock. Use the F1 and F2 keys to move between the adjustable digits. The small dash under the digit indicates the number to be adjusted. Press the up and down selector keys to change the value. When you get to the end of the options, press F2 to save the settings. Next in the setup submenu is F3 GLP. The WP81 retains a record of the date and time of the last pH, conductivity and temperature calibrations as part of GLP guidelines. Selecting F1 Recall brings up the instrument model, firmware version and instrument serial number. Pressing the up or down selection keys moves through the rest of the GLP data, including temperature offset, pH slope, pH asymmetry, conductivity K factor and conductivity zero calibration. To exit GLP data, press the menu key again. Returning to GLP data, press F2 Print. This information can also be printed via an RS-232 printer or sent to a PC if you have one connected. The last option for setup is the board rate selection. Press F4 and the available rates will display. Press the corresponding function key to select a rate. The small arrow indicates the current rate. And that's how to set up and an overview of the menu functions of the TPS, WP81, PH, Wide Range, Conductivity and Temperature Meter. For more information on this multi-parameter water quality tester, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.